Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I wanted to show you guys the MI UI ROM, or uh, as people like to call it, the My UI ROM version 1.9.16.1 uh, for the Droid X on the Gingerbread Kernel. Uh, it's just as awesome as previous versions of My UI ROM. Uh, that we're on the Froyo kernel. The only difference is that it's on the updated Gingerbread kernel, and uh, battery life is just a little bit better this time around. Um, also, there have been a ton of bug, bug fixes, uh, so this ROM is uh, completely usable for like your daily driver ROM. So the first thing I want to do, guys, is show you how to install it, and then after the installation, I'll uh, give you guys a quick review. So let's go ahead and get started with the install. Uh, one thing that you're going to want to know is that you'll definitely have to start out on uh, Gingerbread. So you need to get to version 2.3.3, uh, 4.5.6 uh, zero two on the Droid X. The easiest way to get there is to uh, receive the over-the-air update and then root via the one-click root method. Uh, another way to get there would be to install the pre-rooted a version of 0.602. Once you're there, you need to go to the link in the description and download the ROM from that link, and you'll need to boot into recovery. So you need to be on Gingerbread, you need to be rooted, and uh, if you're coming from a stock ROM, you'll need to boot into recovery via Droid to Bootstrapper. If you're on CM7 for Gingerbread, uh, then you can get there from their custom recovery. I already have it booted, so to get into Clockwork, I'm going to press and hold Power, select Reboot, and then Clockwork Mod Recovery, and Allow. Okay, so as soon as that comes up, I'm going to show you guys how to install it. If you've already installed ROMs on your phone and you're familiar with the process, you can just skip to my quick review. And there is a lot to review about this ROM. It is chock full of features, but for now we'll go ahead and install it. What you want to do is, uh, once this menu comes up, first thing you want to do is go to Wipe Data Factory Reset and select that. We're scrolling through the menu with volume up and down, selecting with the camera button, and going back with the back button. So we'll select Wipe Data Factory Reset. Go down to Yes, uh, Delete All User Data. It's already installed for me, so I'm going to go back. Then you're going to go to Wipe Cache Partition. Select that, and then go down to Yes, Wipe Cache, and select that. I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to go back. And then you'll go to Advanced and Wipe Dalvik. And then go down to Yes, Wipe Dalvik. Uh, once that's complete, you'll go to um, Install Zip from SD Card. Select that, and then you will choose Zip from SD card. And if you've downloaded it directly to your phone, it'll be in your download folder. Um, I had issues the other night downloading it directly to my phone uh, from the MIUI server, so I had to download it to my computer first, and then I uh, pulled it over to my downloads folder on my SD card. And you see it there, it's MIUI.USShadow1.9.16.1. Make sure that you're installing 1.9.16.1. Uh, this is the bug fixed version. Uh, the first version that was released had a battery bug where it would completely drain your battery and it would not accept a charge. So you want to make sure that you download the 1.9.16.1. If you follow the link in the description, uh, that's the version that you'll end up with. Uh, so you'll go ahead and accept that and go down to yes, install MIUI.US Shadow. Uh, 1.9.16.1. Uh, you'll select that. It takes about five minutes to install. And when it says finished installing zip, you'll select reboot system now. And the first reboot is going to take several minutes. So just be patient. Of course, it won't take mine that long because I've already installed it. And the boot animation that you see here is a custom boot animation. That's one of the great things of MIUI is you can change uh, boot animations, themes, um, just about every setting you can change on the fly. So as soon as this boots up, we're going to come back for the quick review. 
Okay, guys, so we're all booted up. The first thing that I wanted to go over uh, with you guys on is the lock screen. So you see that just uh, from the lock screen, you have several options here. You can open up your dialer, and uh, you can also, from the lock screen, you can open up your text messaging, and you can just go straight to the home screen by sliding from the middle. There's a few other functions from the lock screen. Like if you double tap the middle, you'll have your music player there where you can just press play and that'll play your music. So if you're driving down the road and you want to just open up your music player real quick, you can open it right there from the lock screen uh, and also control it from this lock screen. Uh, another thing that you have here is the Torch app. If you press and hold the home button, that will turn on the MIUI flashlight, uh, which is a pretty cool feature. Okay, the next thing I want to show you guys is the MIUI launcher. What you see here is it's pretty cool. Uh, there's several different options to customize it. The first thing I want to show you guys is this um, app drawer here at the bottom. You can interchange the hot screen, I mean the uh, little hot spots down here at the bottom. Uh, you can drag and drop different applications. So just pick up an app and take it out. Pick up another app, bring it down into uh, the bottom there. And you can have up to six apps down there at the bottom, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see, the next thing I want to show you guys is if you pinch in, then you can see all the different screens there. Uh, you can make any of these your home screen just by pressing on the little home button. And that will change any of those to your home screen. Uh, you can also add screens from there. And also take screens away. And you can also interchange those screens as well. Another thing that you can do here is touch and hold any part of the screen and you can add widgets to the screen and you can take widgets away by dropping them into the trash bin. You can also add screens from there and take them away from there as well. And you have a ton of options here as far as uh, like different clocks and different widgets there at the bottom. You can also go into settings and launcher and you can change the transition effect. Like I have it on 3D cube, you can also go rotation. And it just gives you a different effect. There's several different effects to choose from there. Uh, so that covers the launcher. The next thing I want to show you guys is themes. And there's a million to choose from. See, you can have themes that look like iPhone. You can also have themes that look more like Android. And if you select online themes, it'll show you just a multitude of themes here. One thing that's great about these themes is you can pick and choose what parts of the themes that you actually want to apply and what parts you don't want to apply. And they give you a, a preview of all the different parts of the theme there. Uh, you see all the different things that are themed when you drop down. Uh, you can check the ones that you like. Like if you like the framework, you can check that. Or you can uncheck it. You can check the lock screen, the icon, SMS, uh, the wallpaper status bar. And we'll just click apply. And it will apply those settings. And when I go back, you can see that things have changed here. So that's pretty cool. There's a setting in here where you can change just different parts of your theme. Actually, you know what? Let's go to Themes and Customize. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, you can change just your lock screen and just your home, just your icon, and so forth and so on. And you can change like just your boot animation and go to online boot animations 
and there's several to choose from. This the customizing on this ROM is unlimited. I mean, there's just no limit to the amount of customizations for this ROM. In fact, I sat here the other day and looked at just ringtones for about an hour because there's so many to choose from. And that's what I really love about this ROM is that you can customize it uh, every day of the year and you'll never find uh, the same thing. I mean, you'd have a new ROM basically every single day. And that's what's so cool about it. And so there's a few apps that are included here, like the camera app. Um, if you press the arrow there, you see that you have different effects that you can use. Um, like there's a green tint, blue tint, several different effects. There's an anti-shake and a video there as well. Um, also on the music app that it comes with, you get songs, artists, albums, folders, playlists, search, etc. Uh, let's see. Let's see, you have, I'll turn down the volume here. It's pretty cool because you can see that there are lyrics there that you can, that you can choose from. Or if you touch it, you have just the little array at the bottom. But I thought that was pretty cool about the music app is that it has the lyrics there. Um, the music app is really cool. And then, of course, it comes with the Torch app right there, which you can also get from the lock screen. So there's just a ton of customization here, guys. And it's very fast, very quick, like always with CM7-style ROMs. You're going to get absolute performance out of it. Um, and then, of course, with it being on the gingerbread kernel, you're going to get better battery life than you would have on the Froyo kernel uh, CM7 style ROMs. Plus, you're going to get better call reception because you have the new baseband as well. Uh, so that's my quick review for MIUI. Get it at the link in the description. Check out DroidModerX.com for all the latest in ROMs, hacks, and mods for your Droid X. Also, follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX with an E, not a 3. And subscribe to the channel. Thanks, guys. Intoxicated